So this is the new intersection, finally done, at Crawford Crossing on the Spar Road in Sydney. A couple deficiencies to clean up with the old poles, but did a pretty nice job with them. Fortran, cane PVs, nice steel poles, nice sort of EN2s, believe it or not, but the big signs. Walk sign is on. Okay. They should be using the Canadian Walk melody and is on. cuckoo sounds, but they're not, and that's fine. Oh. Okay, and they're using the cuckoo for the countdown. That's a weird way to do it, but <laughs> whatever. So, one of the interesting things with these lights is you got a protected right turn, but the issue with that protected right turn is you have a protected permissive left turn. So, it's technically a conflicting phase, but the right turn is to signify that you can turn right because of the train crossing. Um, but it will stay red if there's a train going when the preemption is active. Uh, but, it, I mean, it, it makes sense in theory, but they really should have done a protected left turn going into the street. Um, and, they, and it's interesting that they put uh, two through signals but it's only one through lane, um, but usually the minimum standard in Nova Scotia is to have two indications going in that direction, but I, I think that they really should have just put a green ball with one signal there, but that's just my opinion, but they, they, overall it's a pretty clean setup, really hits home that you can't turn right on red here because of the railroad crossing, but the, I haven't caught the railroad crossing going yet. Apparently it's earlier in the morning, so I'll have to just get up a little earlier. using the set locator tone too. Not really accessible. I should put more concrete here. Walk sign oh, okay. is on. I guess I got the light. Okay, and they're using Rapid Tech 2 for uh, the clearance tone as well. <clears throat> so you can't see the PVs from this angle, but I'll get a better angle so we can see them. Typically, these lights clear first, and then these ones will clear. And they finally changed the light back to flashing arrow. It was a solid arrow for a while. It's good that they actually have the sidewalks connected here now, though. It was like, no, it wasn't like that for a while. Railroad crossing used to go across that road, but they finally removed it. It hasn't been used in over 10 years. And this road was closed for, oh my god, over seven years. And they finally opened it like a month and a half ago. That's just how they do it up here, I guess. <clears throat> up here, but they're so inconsistent up here. We got walk sign is on, some of them are the chirp, some of them are the melody, some of them have countdown, audible countdown, some of them don't. Yeah, it's just a bit of a mess. We got the gate assembly here. We'll have to see a train come through, but yeah, maybe next time. Alright, so at this angle you can 
actually see one of the PVs on the post over there. And you can see the near side signals. So when they clear, so these clear first, so it keeps people off of the railroad tracks, and then the far one clears. You can see uh, the, the position of the master and PV, and I think they moved it because when it was over too far, it just they couldn't, the cars couldn't see it. And there used to be two tracks here, but it looks like they removed one of them. So it's just the so the train that goes through here. It's actually we have one of the last coal-fired power plants. I think in Canada, at least in Nova Scotia. And uh, so the train comes from Lingan and takes it to the power plant over there. Ships all the coal. And I think that's one of the only active trains on the island, I believe. Uh, I know there's other videos on YouTube that have actually filmed the train crossing here with the old traffic set up, and I'd love to see the preemption active on this main street signal. Uh, but like I said, I'll have to time my videos a bit better. Anyway, we'll cross back over. Got some WC haze, gate assembly, and lights, all LED. See the light going again here. This is one of the only places that actually uses the oversized signs in Nova Scotia, as far as I know. Wait. Oh, they got the wait? Okay. Bridgewater uses that feature too. Halifax does not. Wait. You can see the near side right turn signals here. All EOI signals, of course, are EOI modules. Um, Four train signals, of course. So it must be that this light and the near side Wait. light clear first, and then the PVs clear. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Someone's got to adjust these sounds. It's not good. 